Hello everybody, today I want to show you my summer favourites for this year and um, there's a little mix of everything, there's some skincare, um, some like general like health stuff and makeup obviously. Um, if you want to see how I did this face, uh, this face, how I did this look, um, check out my last video and I tried some new products and some of it went okay and some of it not so good. I know the brows are a little bit Ooh, they're really there but um yeah so anyway let's get on with it my first summer favorite is what i use as a primer moisturizer um i just really like it i use it all the time it's the clinique moisture surge as you can see it's not it's like half used basically um this is so good as a primer it keeps your skin feeling nice through the day um makeup sits really nice on it as you can see and it doesn't get greasy it doesn't like well i find i don't get greasy skin through the day so this is really good um a another favorite this particular one isn't my favorite i can't find my favorite one anywhere it's, it's um hand sanitizer this is a cuticle a sensitive antibacterial hand gel um i've got makeup all over me i've just realized <laughs> um yeah this cuticle their hand gels are really good this is like a lotion one so it like uh smooths your skin softens your skin is what i was trying to say and uh, while it's protecting you from germs and stuff and um, my absolute favorite one is from Marks and spencers and it's just their like essentials range whatever that's called like at the counter their wear one's really good as well so yeah so hand sanitizer essential for summer days with lots of bugs and that around it's i find it's nice to be some have something in your bag that you can freshen up with um my favorite like skincare routine for the summer once a week at the moment i i've discovered this a few weeks ago um a few weeks ago no a few months ago i discovered this my husband gave me one um that he got from the shop and um it happened to be like the best one i've tried um this is the hot chocolate uh what's it called self-heating face mask from however you say their name <laughs> yeah and it's it's really good i got these uh, i've sort of bought some more on amazon and it, it it does feel really uncomfortably hot when you first put it on but after a couple of minutes it's just opens all your pores and it just gets all the gunk out basically i know that sounds really gross but in the summer everyone knows you, if you're wearing makeup and also you're getting sweaty you're wearing spf and stuff like that you just all i don't know my skin just feels like all clogged in the summer so this has been a lifesaver and it smells like melted chocolate orange and it is just amazing and it's i really recommend if you don't like face masks to give this one a go because i've got really sensitive skin there's no redness or anything it's just brilliant so there's that one and also i really like the t-zone from Superdrug um charcoal and bamboo pore strips they're really good for getting rid of anything on your nose and they're really quick to use as well i really like those this is definitely a summer essential this is the charcoal and charcoal charcoal and bamboo no shine papers also from Superdrug from t-zone um and basically they're what it sounds and uh, they're little papers uh, if you haven't used these before or anything like it blotting powder blotting powder well yeah but blotting papers um oh <laughs> that was close um they basically just soak up any excess oil i mean my i've only just done my makeup so there isn't really much to soak up but i'll show you how i use it i get like a sweaty top lip which is you know lovely and attractive but that that's the reality of things um so yeah you basically stab it over and look i haven't lifted any makeup or anything and it's got a little bit of oil that was obviously gathering there um so yeah i just like use it around my nose on my forehead and if i'm getting like hot and sweaty um good tips to dab off all the the oils basically then press on a little bit of blotting powder or a bit more blush or whatever just to set it set it again so yeah there's those and i'm trying to put that back in the packet not a good idea um so that's the blotting papers um then we've got 
uh, I don't know about you, but wearing sunglasses all day, being out in the sun, really testing your eyes and just like um, hay fever. There's all different reasons why your eyes play up in the summer. I found these really good. They're Eye Therapy Under Eye Mask from Beauty Pro. I bought these a little while ago from Fragrance Direct and they were in my haul. So I'll link that down below. But these really do work. I think you leave them on for 20 minutes, but I've been leaving them on for half an hour and they've got green tea and collagen and your eyes look all plump and fresh. And it really normally with any kind of eye product you like wash your face a couple of hours later it doesn't really look any different these actually last it my eyes look nice and like deep puffy for a good couple of days after these so i really re recommend i really recommend trying these so they're they're definitely a summer essential um my i'll show you all this together actually i think that might be easier why have i not got mascara well everyone if you've been watching my videos you'll know that i you don't normally use lash paradise i've got different um mascara on today you can see that in my last video and the reason why but yes i normally wear l'oreal lash paradise my go-to makeup look and i don't have lipstick i'll show you that separately it's fine <laughs> my go-to makeup look at the moment is really simple really easy and just like quick to do but it lasts all day as well because it's not like a proper foundation or anything like that basically first i put on a bit of moisture surge i've already showed you some la roche posay spf that's the athelios fluid um some blush uh, bourgeois blush in, oh no wrong order <laughs> no the bright glow insta glow cc cream from body shop if you've been watching my videos a little while you know this is a real favorite of mine i've gone through a whole tube already this is on my second tube um and then the bourgeois blush in rose de jasp this is beautiful i don't know if you've ever used a, a bourgeois blush before if you haven't go and smell them in the shop because they smell amazing and they go on really nicely as well that's not what i'm wearing now but that is my summery look um that's really nice and um this is my elf brow pencil that i've been using for my eyebrows like i say i'm not wearing these products now which i know sounds a bit silly but i might do an updated summary look with the product so you can see what it looks like i'm sure i did do a video already but i'm gonna do an updated one for like the end of the summer if that makes sense um well, not the end of the summer but like the summer <laughs> um yeah so this is my brow pencil that i've been using this is in medium brown and it's just a, a brow pencil basically it's not that fine but i don't really but that doesn't really bother me anyway but the colors are perfect matches a bit lighter on what i've got on now and it's just really quick and easy it's got a nice spoolie on the other end and that's what i've been doing with a bit of mascara and um i've been rotating between these new lipsticks and lip glosses that i've got um oh i've also been using this cream blush from i think it's universal beauty i got this in a glossy box and it's called secret flush and it doesn't look like your typical i forgot it's got that inner lid to it it doesn't look like your typical blush color but just a little bit over creamy makeup is really nice i've not tried it over powder products yet i probably won't worry about doing that but for a really quick look this looks really nice and when i'm bit bored of the bourgeois or whatever that's my like go-to summer look and that's only one two three four five six products with mascara seven with lipstick so that's not too bad i don't think that's that bougie really for the summer um my favorite lip stuff at the moment is the cyo lip gloss take a shine in breakout star and it's like a nudie brown color it's really nice um i also really like the plumping it's called the rumpy plumpy coconut lip plumper from dirty works this is really nice and a little goes a long way with this as well and it really does plump your lips up as well and it smells nice um what i'm wearing at the moment is gone grey uh, by maybelline this one's really pretty um and it's just basically a deep nudie greyish colour basically and I, it's just my sort of colour um i also really like fatal kiss by stay it's by rimmel it's one of their stay matte liquid lips and it's basically a lighter version of this um that's really nice i also like um troublemaker which is similar to the colour i've got on now but more brown maybe like a deeper more ready brown sort of colour yeah um and although it's not a summery colour 
it looks summery in the sunlight if that makes sense this is um broadest berry uh, it's a chubby stick by clinique and it's like a moisturizing lip balm and this color is just so nice and it twists up as well and you get about that much product which doesn't look like a lot but actually i've had it quite a while now and it's a little goes a long way and it's just a really nice quick sort of you know flick it on and don't worry about it kind of jobby <laughs> so there's that that's all the lip stuff makeup -y sort of stuff well it's not all the lip stuff actually um another essential vaseline this is a special edition called mirror mirror and it smells like spicy apple which doesn't sound very summery but on the lips it's got like a pink pink ready tint and it just oh it just smells so good as well it smells like it reminds me that autumn's coming because that's my favorite season so yeah a bit sad but that's true um also my lips get really dry in the summer i expect yours do as well this is blistex intensive moisturizer really really recommend trying this i wear this whenever my lips are feeling really dry and dehydrated this is just like a little cream basically and it's got like a menthol tingle so it is a little bit plumping as well so that's really good and i've had it's only five grams but i it's obviously nearly empty now but i've had it for ages and it's just sort of going on and on um i also really like the body shop coco calming face mist and i've got some of this on now i sort of use it to set my makeup and it's so nice for in the day it just tops it up it's got a really fine you can see a really fine sort of puff mist it's just perfect for setting your makeup and cooling you down and for just yeah, every, everyday use basically and it smells like coconuts and it's really nice and fresh my favorite scent at the moment for the summer is the fierce wild rose and cassis body fragrance this is from superdrug by material girl the packaging is gorgeous i carry this in my bag all the time and i've been using it you can't really see but i've been using it like every day and every time i go out and like multiple times and there's still so much in there as well and it's just it smells like the richest black currant oh it's just the nicest smell if you want to smell this it's in super drug i really recommend going and just giving it a sniff and they've got loads of other ones as well i really like a body mist because you could just you know spray it on whenever you want and it's not an aerosol so it's good um uh, a definite summer essential and how many times are we going to say that today um this is the nivea three in one gentle cleansing wipes and these are for dry skin they've got almond oil and cleansing lotion and they are so nice they're like um i'm I don't know if anybody else gets this problem with um, makeup wipes, but they dry your skin out and they make your skin go all red. These are the only ones I've found that don't do that. And they were on offer. If I can remember where they were on offer to, I will put that down below. But they were on offer because they can be a little bit expensive, these ones. Um, but that's those. And this I got in a glossy box. I think it was the last glossy box, yeah. Um, this is the Seawater Hairspray. And I'll put below who it's made by because it's in French and I've got no idea. This is what I've got in my hair now. And I basically put a leave-in conditioner on and then let it almost dry. Um, and like give it a good ruffle up. Spray this all over it. Like flip your hair up. Spray this all over it. Spray it all over the ends and then like rough it up again and actually at first i was like it doesn't do anything but i really my hair's quite fine so it can just look a bit like you know straight but this just like gives me some texture so i'm really liking it and i think um i think i will save up and buy some more because it is quite expensive that's the only thing about glossy products it gets you hooked on stuff that's a little bit more pricey than what you would normally buy but i might try a cheaper version of a salt spray and compare the results but this one is really good and i do recommend if you're thinking of splashing out on a salt spray this is a good one so yeah i really like how you can see i'll keep messing about with my hair honestly leave it alone <laughs> yeah so there's that um i also really like because i get dry skin in the summer nivea hand cream as you can tell I don't know if I've got... I, oh, the, the wipes for Nivea. I really like Nivea stuff. I use their day and night cream as well. A few, a few videos back, I did a face routine. I will put that down below and you can see I really like Nivea products. This is a Nivea hand cream, cherry blossom and jojoba oil. And there's actual oil in it. It smells really nice. It's in a big sort of handy packaging. They do do a smaller one as well for like your handbag. Well, I keep this in my bag anyway because I don't do handbags. I use a rucksack. Um but yeah it just soaks in really nicely really quickly and it smells amazing i wish you could smell that it reminds me of like a really luxurious shampoo or um conditioner 
Um, this is my Clinique translucent powder. I've had it forever. It's the Stay Matte Universal Blotting Powder. Um, and I use this all summer. I probably should get a new one, but I mean, I don't put it anywhere near my eyes or anything. But this is really good for touch-ups with a fluffy brush, just to like make your makeup look all nice and smooth again. So that's a really good summer essential. And um, I think that's... I think that's everything actually, uh, apart from this. Um, this is the MUA Matte Six Shade Palette, and that's what it's called. And this is really good for just, it's like pocket size, you can chuck it in your bag. Um, it's just a really good brownie, nudie sort of colour, the sort of eye colours that I normally do. So if I am going to wear some makeup, I'll either use this or the yes. I'll either use this or my contour palette by Makeup Revolution to just add a little bit of colour to the crease. You know, I'm not really fussed about makeup um not makeup i'm not really fussed about eyeshadow this time of year in the summer i find i just want something i can whack on and that's why i like my low maintenance face routine basically so yeah that's all my summer essentials and i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more like it or the other types of videos i do i mean i do full faces like this i test new products i do haul videos unboxing videos i open glossy box every month the day it arrives and post my video and um i've got plans for some other videos as well so if you want to see like and subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any and i'll see you in the next one Bye.